Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome to Something Random with me. I guess that's the only way to put it. Welcome, welcome to something that I'm sure, after I did the mod review, looking at Secret Heroes and Fisk's Superhero mods, uh, some people made a clicks was my idea. <laughs> Because there aren't many other things that mix this mod with. So, the superhero, the uh, secret heroes add on hero pack uh, gave us a Saitama suit. I figured, what if we went to Dragon Block and became the ultimate human? Because that's something I thought about before. And I was like, yeah, I could just put my skin in Saitama. No, no, I could just wear a Saitama suit. It's great. So, 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 so. Let's give that a try. Let's see how that goes. Let's let's make ourselves human, as you do, and let's let's see where this goes from here. So if I click on that, bum ba dum, we can be human. We can give ourselves glorious hair that Saitama wishes he could dream of, and yeah, then we even get keys so we can get stronger as time goes. Not that we're gonna need too much more strength, but you know, it could it could help. Aura, sure, give us one of those. Ba bum ba bum, glorious. Oh, right, the whole hair, yeah, okay. Never mind then, we don't need hair to be strong. It, you have to train hard enough to your hair falls, who cares if we're not having glorious long hair? It's fine, I'm okay with that. I don't definitely prefer having long hair. Strength is what matters, right? But yeah, so I have no idea if this mod is going to work well together or what. Because typically Dragon Block works pretty well with the Fisks mod. Like they, they, they merge together quite finely. And the battle systems for them seem to merge quite finely. So this could work in theory. It might be okay. I don't know how everything's going to conflict with each other. It might be alright. Also, I probably should uh, think about getting some food real quick. Because again, it's going to be hungry work. Yep, there we go. Lovely. Right, so at least that part's working fine. Except now we also get the Dragon Block after... Shot punch effects added on along with the <laughs> along with the fist of real one sound effect. That is the best way this could have worked. <laughs> oh, glorious. Okay. Uh, first things first, we must claim the lookouts. There we go. Just Saitama claiming the Dragon Ball lookout. Nothing out of the usual here. Uh, but yeah, this is one of those like it, it, it's Saitama and Dragon Ball. It's one of those things of I would love to merge this together for so long. And this is still like the perfect opportunity, so let's not waste it. Let's do something done with this. Can Saitama beat the Dragon Ball Universe? <laughs> well, Saitama even have to get serious to beat the Dragon Ball Universe. Oh, that's an even better question. Hold the ball. Also, also, also. Saitama flying in Nimbus Clouds. Yay or nay? So Saitama can't fly, which means I won't be giving a fight. I mean, he just jumps really high. There. Flying an Imbus Cloud, though, like, he seems like the sort that would be able to fly one. Because, like, yeah, he's not really a bad guy. For the most part, he does a lot of selfless deeds in the form of just, he beats all monsters and stuff. Of course, he's getting he's get no level of motivation <laughs> and hardly any emotions, period. So, I don't know, the other way we're up here now. Yo, if we took one of Piccolo's capes, like, ask for weight. Cape. How do we... There we go. Uh, I mean... <laughs> it's certainly something. In both cases, we would be together doing stuff. So I tell Cape does actually flutter behind when moving. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's certainly I'll look. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just adds a little point for this video, by the way. If you hear background noise for a fan, it's because it's playing at my dog. Because it's hot. And bum, bum, bum. Just thought I'd notice that. Note that. Um, right, so, um, I tried this mod out before. I did a video looking at this mod, and, you know, I had some really cool stuff in it, in terms of, like, you know, sound effects, Saitama being a pretty nice Saitama, bum, ba dum, ba dum. So, come on. One of the things after, though, because after I did it, I got a bunch of comments saying about, you know, things I missed. And one of those things is the fact that if you drop off a building, apparently something's meant to happen. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, on the flip side, if we were to get serious about this and drop down, we get a much different landing. A.K.A. we get a full-on superhero landing. 
<laughs> like, I didn't even saw him throwing myself off a building. That was great. That was, yeah, one of the little things I missed uh, when I did the review bit. I really said I missed that. That was really cool looking. Now, normally I'd activate turbo mode to run around, but honestly, like, I can, I can just move really fast. Thanks to Leah, so... That's a thing. Then say, though, yeah, water. I still can't really get over that really quickly. Unfortunate. That said, I don't think mobs can really do much. So, some of the fun stuff about Dragon Block mixing with this is the fact that, yeah, the battle mechanics work really well. In the sense of, rather than getting, like, a, a base, like, damage reduction. So, like, if I'm wearing this armor, I take, like, 10 less damage or something. Instead, it's a damage percentage reduction. A.K.A. if I'm wearing this armor, I take 97.6% less damage. And that tends to work with things. So, you know, you fight some things, bum ba dum ba dum you'll take less damage. It works with the Dragon Block damage scaling. Dragon Block damage scaling obviously goes way, way harder. Because it'll go, you know, people going to absurd levels of power and bum ba dum ba dum And basically, yeah, every, no, regardless, even if... They are ridiculous powerful and doing like thousands of bits of damage. I will still reduce that 97% of damage. Things like that. So, yeah, the, the mods tend to work very well defensively and make you incredibly powerful wearing like just pretty much any of the suits. Now, take that with Saitama, who also has ridiculous strength. And yeah, I am generally really curious how powerful we could get in this. <laughs> like, could, could Saitama just wipe out all the Dragon Ball universe and Bomba Doom with very little effort as a wee human? We shall see. Bop. Glorious. Now, I am a bit out of the whole food thing, though. That's, uh, that's a problem. Uh, I'd have to do regular Minecraft and go, like, I can't exactly just rip the coal at the ground with my hands. <laughs> as fun as it'd be to give Saitama the ability to just dig with his hands. I do not possess such an ability, so... Yeah, okay, probably should... Get some coal and things so I can actually get grub. And then from there, we can think about, you know, going and looking for whatever we need to start this adventure. Oh, yeah, I also just realized something. So, okay, we have Dragon Block stats. So, you know, if we open up the menu, for example, and bubble, whatever stats here, we can still increase our things. So, increasing our strength, pointless. We're never, we're, we're never going to increase our strength, I assume. So, that's fine. Just leave that alone. Now, our stats, though, yeah, we could do it increasing some of those potentially. Ah, uh, just, for, if nothing else, just for getting around quicker or having extra health in case we do fit against something that can hurt us. Because, you know, Saitama's not a static thing. He can get stronger. He has no liver. <laughs> if you think something is moderately strong at all or anything near his strength, he will just overcome it, you know? Because he's Saitama. He always wins. He's the one punch man in blah, 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 blah. That said, though, if I were to try and train... <laughs> Even if I sat here at 0% and I tried to train, I don't think it's going to end well. If I put myself at 5% power, it's immediately 5% of my power. Okay, that adjusts my, my jumping and stuff. Bum, bum, bum. I don't even know if I hit any harder. It's hard to say. Whatever. If I were to go into the menu, though, we go into training. We need to have a shower dummy. You TP start shower dummy. God Damn it. Okay, we punching all that time and uh, this mod came back to bite me. Hold on. Oh, hey, oh. Yo, if you hold shift. Okay, I didn't do anything. Okay, I'm apparently tensing up for what looks like takeoff. Okay, I, th I think possibly the jump mechanic thing is messing with the dragon block one, so I can't really do a super jump, I don't think. I'm not sure. Okay, well, after mining up the mother of all coal mine, uh, vines, we are now loaded up a goal. Gonna cook all the grub and bump a dump a dump. So now we can travel. Now there's not gonna be an issue, so. Glorious. And now over. Oh, good food. Right. Now, with that out of the way, Cells Arena's over there. Good to know. Uh, if we were gonna go do the Saga system, what will we need to do? We need to go speak to Mr. Roshi. Now, the thing is, though, is if we go and speak to him, we have to go find the ocean. Okay, that's going to be annoying, but I was uh, <laughs> I was really anywhere I could speed up finding the ocean. I just need to go run around and see if we can find it. Also, Seltzer has actually spawned in a really good thing for once. There you go. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'll take that one. That was about right there. Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no, I just wanted to jump over the thing. God damn it. It's unfortunate about the jump mechanic, unless I'm doing something wrong with it. Yeah, I believe Saitama normally has much more powerful jumps and can't really trigger them. Because Dragon Block's got its own jump mechanic thing for when you've got energy. Bump it up. Because I can do this 10 start thing, but the second I click jump, it's going to Dragon Block. If I go to 0%, it still just gives me a regular jump. It's... Ah, oh, it's so sad those have conflicted. It do not do. I mean, I think it's also because the secret hill Zaitama's got like a unique jump thing feature, aka that right there, where you can make your jumps really powerful. If you want to. But, you know, we... Oh... We, we're, we're not quite operating the same way as normal. We're operating with Dragon Block on, so... Oh, dear. Oh, wait, we actually about hit the ocean. Ignore the fact that this looks like there's an entire city about to spawn in. It's definitely not. <laughs> That's from the other world. Okay, hold on, let's... Let's go we trip on a box. We can't run over water, apparently. Is that a mechanic in Fisk's? Water running? Because, like... Saitama could definitely run out water, right? Like, that's one of his skills, maybe? Sort of? Possibly? It, it almost certainly is. He can run quick enough to do it. Did, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was the quickest I've ever found Kami's house all in the ocean. Fantastic! That makes my life simpler, then. One bald man to another. Badu. What did he just give me there? What did he just do? <laughs> Okay, I think I actually did anything. Uh, da, 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 da. Saga system, we fight to protect. Okay, now we get the thing. So at this point now, we can click to fight Yamcha. I suppose we should do that off of Yoshi's Island, because the Fecker can shoot Key Blast, so... Over to Cell's place. But I don't... Cell's place... On a good little platform bit, but if he starts launching Key Blast, he'll fall underneath this thing. <laughs> and that'll be that. But sure, bring him out. There we go. Okay, he can attempt to hurt his... Apparently the advanced AI is on because he's backing away. Interesting. <gasps> oh, their defense thing makes it so they don't die instantly. Hello? Okay, well this got very interesting there. Hold on. Uh, if I were to activate this slot, I'm going to go on 0% for a second. Just to see how it goes. Okay, well that killed... Yeah, well you guys will get less help. I just, uh, that wasn't really a fair contest, was it? Oh dear. We fight to protect. Fight the mechas. They are stronger. Go. Oh, they're doing more than one. Okay, hold on. Now we can use an actual move. Consecutive normal punches. Yeah, okay. So it just it applies to Dragon Ball damage. And lots of quick punches. We're not nearly as strong as I figured we might be, though. Yeah, no, no. We can definitely still get hurt, though. And we definitely don't kill things in one go. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Then again, we're in normal modes. What if we got serious about things? What if we went, you know, ha? Huh. And then we fought the next thing. The big peel off mecha. That does get one shot. <laughs> okay, maybe we're taking things too late with Dragon Ball. Maybe we have to be a bit serious about the Dragon Ball world. Like, if we go non serious, we can have an actual little thing with them going back and forth and that. But, you know. If we were to get serious, like, really serious about things, and if I, you know, a higher level, we might, we might do better, yeah. Actually, wait, questioning things, if I've got in serious mode, can things even hurt me? Like, I, I definitely still have a damage reductor. Yeah, no, yeah, they can still hurt us. That said, though, we didn't massively hurt them. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I was like, yo, maybe it's a dirty to make Dragon Ball. No, 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 it's just we weren't using, like, a single percent of our power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything makes much more sense now. Yeah, I think we're gonna be fine. That's it, I'm interested in our thing. If we were to fight against the opponent, like, Jackie Chun. Uh, we go... Yeah, we can put it in slow-mo modes. But we can also speed up... ourselves. And bum ba dum Also, power ourselves up a bit. Power energy, there we go. Oh, slow motion energy power ups, also but <laughs> Oh my god, the slow mo working so cute. Cool. So slow mo in multiplayer mode doesn't work unless all the players are running so uh slow mode. So that's the thing. Also, yeah, I think we can just sit at like five percent, can we? Like it affects our defense multiplier, I suppose. But <laughs> we were pretty strong, so you know, 
think it's be fine. Where are we at? Oh, we've got, yeah, we've gotten some TP. Because we've been barlasting through story missions. Let's kill the TP we're going to get. We can't train. <laughs> we legitimately can't train. <laughs> our training is literally just finishing the story and getting a messy experience that way. That, that's literally our entire training thing. Oh, yay. Okay, I guess we might as well rattle through things a little bit then. So, Jackie Chan, buff mode. Go away. Fight to protect. Red Dripping Army. Colonel Silver. Bosh. <laughs> Is everything I've ever wanted in the sight of a run? <laughs> Go away. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, this is, um, this is about what you'd expect. I am, like, I am curious, though, because I don't know what the damage multiplier is. Obviously, we just saw it in regular mode. Obviously, we don't, like, uh, let's go, let's, let's go not serious for a second. In regular mode, if we were in the fight, we, we see that we don't do, you know, infinite damage. You do, like, 103 and stuff. Also, we could do consecutive normal punches. And we can sort of just tear through them that way. I love the fact this works. Dragon Blots get its own set of animations. Fists get its own set of animations, yet for some reason they work so well together. Like, if you want to do the fist animation, it just lets you. It does the fist animation. It's great. Pecky, Dragon Ball still get it. It's got one thing going on still. It. I love that these two mods work together so well, because it just creates this beautiful combination where you give yourself a, like a stupid suit and just go nuts with it. Like this. Oh, it's so brilliant, these two mods being together. Oh no, Aita, no! Consecutive normal punches! Bosh! Oh, it's like a meat grinder. <laughs> My god. Oh, uh, no, I just fight the Red Dream Army. I, I, I don't have to be serious for the Red Dream Army. I don't want to be serious for the Red Dream Army, because honestly, they don't deserve it. Just go, you know, consecutive normal punches and wipe it out. And yeah, they can fight back a little bit. But really, like, they're not. Like, you see my health. They're hurt. They're able to hurt me because, like, they, I can't reduce the damage to none. But I've got that much. It's like it's a tickle, isn't it? Like, <laughs> and even if I'm not serious with the consecutive normal punches, it's it, I can just shred them. <laughs> Hold on, we'll, go, we'll, be, we'll be serious again once we get past the joke that is the Red Ribbon Army. You know, just, just get this chap out of here. There we go. We got anyone left? I think we've got oh, a bunch of soldiers. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, this oh, oh, this is gonna be fun. Bring them. What if? Oh, I was like, what happened there? Oh, I am consecutive all punching and punching their their bullets out there. Hold on. Yeah, I'm punching that fast. I'm punching their bullets, and their bullets are becoming arrows when they hit me. <laughs> what? I have no idea that was a thing! I'm punching so quick, I'm punching their bullets, and there's no bullet, like, item. Because what they're showing is just a re thingy arrow. Well, an arrow with animation, basically. So when I punch I'm punching it quick enough that I'm catching it, it's becoming an arrow again. That's a trick I didn't know Saitama had. That's interesting, okay. Also... The final mecha of the thing. Get 700 HP and he's gone. Brilliant. Red Red Army. Dealt with. Next tournament. Badoom. Tend to be serious. Oh, wait. Hold on. You're not the next tournament. <laughs> You're not the next tournament. You're not worth using anything fun on. Oh, wowza, though. That's the uh, the experience we've gone up to, though. I don't want to put points into anything. Uh, like, is there any skills we need? <laughs> is there any skills we want? <laughs> like, the skills would be appropriate for Saitama and the almighty being that he is. Like, yeah, you can take anything that's, like, defensive and offensive in Bumbadum, because it technically caught off wise from. Like, key sensing, what's the point? <laughs> Everyone's the same to him. <laughs> Like, he generally can't tell if people are stronger than other people. He's just like, oh, this guy might be a bit stronger. But I know. I think that, like, how many people does Psycho actually give praise to in terms of strength? He gave strength to, uh, the alien they fought. I can't remember the name, but it begins with a B. Uh, Borg? 
something? I, I can't remember off the top of my head. God damn it. Anyway, but I mean, like, you give some praise to him, kind of. Because, like, yeah, okay, you did well. You didn't die instantly one of my punches. <laughs> Aside from that, he doesn't give him much praise because he doesn't really need to. Because everyone's kind of sucks compared to him. But, okay, hold on, let's... Sure, let's put points in things. Everything but strength. <laughs> we don't need it. Actually, we arguably don't need willpower either. Wait, hold on. No, no, that doesn't work. I was about to say, if I had a throwable... <laughs> would that apply to Saitama strength? <laughs> like, I don't think a snowball would, but like... Would any of the other stuff apply it? Like... Maybe? I don't know, actually. Yeah, okay, I, can just, I can just up these stats loads. So why not? <laughs> Yeah, it's up to 40 now. Get even more health. Glorious. I already had an absurd amount of health for, you know, I had 200 against enemies that kill me used do one damage. I was already a mega boss to everything I was fighting. Now it's just horribly unfair. I've just made myself like three times as powerful. Invisible Invisible man. Good luck, mate. <laughs> Doesn't matter if I can't see, I'll just punch everything. And we've got the mummy. Bubble. Am I getting extra points for this now I think about it? Like... Yeah, I'm on a thousand... Oh, I'm on sixteen hundred and eight now. Okay, hold on. Uh, put myself up to insane difficulty. Except, because... Might as well. Sixteen hundred and eight. Hold on. Hold on. Because I'm technically doing, like, a lot of punches at once. Out of curiosity. If I were to do this... Then we don't put the points in yet. Oh! Oh, we can train. That is training. <laughs> I'm punching that quick, apparently. That is actually accumulating. God, it's like having a, a really, really stupidly powerful thingy magic. Oh, clicker, isn't it? It's one of those dumb ones that gives you like hundreds of hits at once. Cause yeah, 1300 odds. Or 2300 odds. Okay, it didn't that time. Was I just... Am I just confusing things? Did I not get a load there? Like... Hold on. Mary Yamcha! I think he just launched a key blast at me there. I don't think it worked though. I think I, I think I punched it out. Wait, can I punch key blast out there? <gasps> can I? Twenty-seven net. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, I don't think I'm training that much. I think I was just. I think I did click the thing. I just didn't realize that number was up. Oh, guy, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to check this. Chaltsu, come at me. Launch a key blast, mate. Do it. Oh, we have an after image. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Come on, you've got the Doldan Ray. Use it. Use it. Come on. Oh, don't be like this. I will, I will just do that to you. You've got the Doldan Ray. Why would you not use it? Come on. I want to see what happens if I punch a key blast. <laughs> Krillin, no. Don't do this. Don't do this. Come on. I better get do do this. Use your key blast. Nah, it still hits me. Alright. I thought maybe maybe we could, like, you know, punch through or something, but... Yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't working like that. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I better get into the, uh, the King Pickle arc. And Tian just took that beating there. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, time to get serious again. No, wait, no, we're not fighting against King Pickle yet. No, no, back to the series, back to the series. Dun -ba -dun. There we go. All right. What, what, what we got next? What we got next? We have got Tambourine. Brilliant. Brilliant opponent. To get his warmed up. Thousand health. There we go. Destroyed. And what does that put us at in terms of things? It puts us at one, four, four, six, three. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna gain a bit more. Get Symbol next. Oh, yeah, you don't fight old King Piccolo, do you? Oh, no, wait. You fight him after Symbol, don't you? No, you fake tambourine again. Okay. Bosh. 
Is it King Piccolo Tank? Ah, oh, there he is. Okay, now we'll get serious. <laughs> serious face on. This is something else I want on the show. Uh, when we go serious, if we go uh, consecutive normal punches, now serious consecutive normal punches, you do it two handed. <laughs> oh my god, yes. That was the other thing I didn't know about. When you're in serious mode, you do double madness. Oh, it is great. Oh, it is beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, so just to check, can I still take you guys out in one hit then? Like, what? where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Drum next. Like, what level of power are we at? Enough that it kills him in one go. Okay. King Piccolo. You say either Doro punches. They don't kill one hit. I'm pretty sure we're doing it in most numbers of 300 with the consecutive normal punches, but we're punching that much. So, okay, the consecutive normal punches, slightly serious addition, does in fact, isn't as fact as powerful as just our regular punch. Good to know. Anyway, let's go speak with Kami. He's going to offer the trainers, but we don't need it. All right, let's see what I can teach you. Turns out, very little. <laughs> very, very little. That said, though, is there any skills worth taking? Not really. I could max out the jump skill. <laughs> I don't think it would help, though. I mean, sure, I'll, I'll grab it just for the sake of having it, I suppose. Potential lock? Yeah, I might as well grab that, actually. Sure, I might as well uh, have the ability to go to 100%. If the time ever comes, we fancy it. Actually, I didn't leave a marker for Corrin. Hold on, let's quickly, uh... Lippity leap off the edge here. Baboosh. Well, Corrin's, uh, there, but, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> Glorious. Glorious. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. <laughs> I wish I'd seen that before. It's such a cool little hero landing thingy we dig. Oh. Alright, we're back. So. Bum, 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 bum. Tournament time. King Piccolo Jr. Mercenary Tau. Baboosh. We fight to protect. Tian Shinhan next. Let's see if he can give us a bit more of a... No, okay. Uh, next up, we have got Piccolo. You're not the full power one, though. Get out of here. We fight to protect. Okay, now Piccolo's unleashed his full power. I think it's only fair. If he's unleashed his full power, we actually, you know, do the same back. So to that end... Yeah, okay, that worked. And that was, in fact, the killer move. Serious, serious, serious punch. The most non-serious name in existence, but... My god, does that look good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this so much. It's so good. It's so good. It looks so good. Also, that appears to be Dragon Ball done. So, can Taito beat Dragon Ball with fecking ease? Especially in serious mode. Even without serious mode, because of the consecutive you know, punches, he could just DPS his way to oblivion everything. Because, like, yeah, without investing anything in our strengths, we're already doing, like, 100 out damage per punch. And that's non-serious mode. <laughs> that's us holding ourselves back, you know, not trying at all. <laughs> Oh, this is great. I ought to, yeah, this is, I, I, I can see me playing a bit more of this for fuzzy. Like, I really do want to try and get the others to try some of the sit things out for this. Like, the fist mod is just so good. The thing is, Mitch tried it. Mitch tried it. He, specifically, he wanted a thing for uh, very particular heroes. And he asked about it because he saw one of my things, apparently, about it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, here it is. And I showed it to him. And I'm like, yes, okay, he's going to see it. And he'll, he'll want to play it. And he's like, yeah, no, it's really cool. The only downside is it's on a lot of versions. That puts people off. And I'm just sat there like... But we agree it's really good, like, why wouldn't we just go to the yellow version and go play it? Like, it's good enough to warrant going there, that's the thing. Like, not every mod is. Not every mod, you're like, okay, I'll go back for and go play it. But, like, yeah, Fist and Dragon Block are. And they work together, apparently. So, so well. <laughs> There's so many cool things in here. There's so much potential for fun memories as the group. I just have to convince them someday, you know, I just, have to, I just have to do what I can and try and convince them. And my golly, do I try. So, anyway, yeah, this is me just taking the mic a bit, uh, because kids like to beat Dragon Ball. Yes. Do you want to see us play a bit more? Shall we do Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super and 
just one punch her way through everything. Could be fun. <laughs> and get the others to come on, I will. But yeah, uh, this is a little a little funsy thing I decided to do because I really wanted to see Saitama's thing and see if it mixed well with uh Dragon Block. The answer is yes. Yes, it does. Also curiosity. Oh yeah, this mod works. <gasps> Oh, so good. But yeah, anyway, we'll end this video here. No, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. So yeah, this is Dragon Block along with this superhero mod. I've done mod reviews on both of them and ba dum ba dum. Along with, yes, using the Saitama suit from the Secret Heroes add-on hero pack thingamajig, which is glorious. It's one of my favourite things. And there's so many other anime suits. There's so many other suits to get fun with, so... Yeah, we'll see what more stuff we can do in this in the future. But as I said, this is a very non-serious, just little funsy video. Just chilling in Saitama, beating everything up for a bit of fun. I, I, I wanted to try this. I had to try this. <laughs> and it works just as well as I hoped it would. It's beautiful. This this is how you do a Saitama step. You just make it ridiculous. <laughs> but even then, even then, it's not like just like a lazy, like, oh, you have a super punch that does bajillion damage. No, no, there's some real brilliant animation work in here. There's some real brilliant bits in here. So you really feel the epic, that type of thing. Like, it literally has, yeah, just goofy, non-goofy mode. It has the consecutive punches. It has the killer series punch. Like it <laughs> Such a good bit, isn't it? I love it. But right, anyway people, thank you for watching. As I said, leave a like and let us know in the comments so you want to see is just play a bit with more bits like this and maybe fight Dragon Ball, try fight against Super, see if we can beat Jiri and see if we can beat Zeno. Like we've never beaten Zeno before. Maybe we'll only beat Zeno in <laughs> Thoughts were later, maybe, maybe. We all got be all of the gods of destruction at the same time. There's some fun we could have here. But right, for now though, thank you very much for watching. See you all next time for whatever random anime thingy I end up getting up to next. Go bye everybody. Dun 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 Also just wanna say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support. Any special thank you and shout out to our elite members, the Johnny members, Sebastian Ramsey, Alks, and Beatark13, and our Anbu member, Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Bata, bata, bata.